Hey everyone, Kyle Jason here. So in today's video, I wanna talk about color. So for the most part, a lot of people understand the context of color. Basically from just observing advertisements, print media, and brand design that's all around us, we know that blue and green are trustworthy colors. We know that red is used as the accent color to bring your attention in, and sometimes as a warning. So that's not really where people get caught up. What people really get caught up on is usually how to pick a color to represent their brand or how to pick a color scheme. So I'm gonna talk about two ways that beginners can kind of approach the learning process of kind of learning color theories and what things go together in the application of color. The formal approach, which would be either taking a class on color theory or picking up a book, or another approach, the one that I like, the more fun one, is you can kind of learn by doing and emulating others. So I'm gonna show you guys some good tips, tricks, and resources for each method of approach, the more formal side and the more indirect, kind of learn through osmosis, emulating, and practicing. Let's head over to the computer and I'll show you guys kind of how I do both approaches. So for the more formal approach, I'm gonna recommend taking a course. So if you can, if you have the ability, you could take a university course. So most universities offer a intro to design course that touches on color or a more advanced color theory course, and that should get you up to speed with color right away. But if you're not a university student or you don't have the ability to attend a school or a class, you could kind of skip the middleman and get a textbook. And The Interaction of Color by Joseph Albers is apparently the standard text. This was actually recommended to me by a digital art student that's a friend of mine. And I'm still working my way through this, but this text has very awesome exercises and examples that really train your eye. It goes over a number of things, as well as illusions and the importance of contrast, as well as why certain colors play together well in proximity to each other. So this is definitely going to be my book recommendation, and the link to this will be in the description below. It's a really awesome text. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Like I said, I'm still working my way through it, but um, at this point, I would highly recommend it. Now, if you're not someone who can see yourself kind of just flipping through a textbook uh, to learn the basics of color, I highly recommend, if you still want a structured approach, to take a look at hackdesign.org and their lesson on building color confidence. Hackdesign.org is something that I'm definitely going to highlight in another video, my best free web design resources video. Um, so subscribe so you can stick around to get that. Hack Design has these really awesome lessons that are organized into articles, tools, and exercises that you can do, and they really kind of just help you understand the concepts of color as well as play around with some tools that will help you pair things together. Now, as for some standalone tools, my very favorite tool to use in terms of finding inspiration for using colors and if I'm just curious as to what the values for a color are when I'm browsing around the web is Colorzilla. So if you guys are familiar with any regular design tool or application, you know that there's a eyedropper icon somewhere in the left or right panel. And basically, to use the eyedropper, you just hover over any color in your document and it selects it for you. So Colorzilla is really awesome because it provided this on the web. Essentially what it is, it's a Chrome and Firefox extension and you basically just click it and it activates a eyedropper for you. So as you can see, I'm just hovering over all these different colors and it's displaying them in this top bar for us. All you really need to do is just click on the color and it copies it to your clipboard. So now you can paste that color in a design tool such as Photoshop or Sketch or you could paste it right in your CSS. So another one of my favorite resources while I was learning colors was the Adobe Color Wheel. Now this is a really awesome tool. So if you have one color that you like, or let's say a client gives you a logo that has primarily one color and you're confused as to what colors might complement that color, you can go ahead and paste the RGB or hex value of that color inside of this color wheel. So I'm gonna just put in um, 1CE, press enter, and then once you put a value in this middle column on the color wheel, you can go through and choose different color rules and it will generate the colors that go with it for it. So if you click on monochromatic, it will bring up those. You click on triad, it will bring up those. And if you click on complementary, it will bring up complementary colors. And then it has the values that you can go ahead and grab and throw into Photoshop, Illustrator, Sketch, or directly into your CSS. So this is a really neat tool, especially when you're kind of 
have one color that you really want to work with and you just want to quickly get some colors that will go along with it it's a really awesome tool the other cool thing about adobe color is that it has an explore tab and on this explore tab there's a wide array and variation of color schemes that other designers um, and people have done and you can basically just browse them um, so i browse this you know about every other day as well as the next resource that i'm going to show you guys um, and the same thing here you can just click on one of these you can download them um, you can copy the link to send them to someone else and you can go ahead and click edit and it'll bring you to the wheel um, so it's really really awesome and inventive tool for learning color combinations as well as an awesome resource to make color combinations so one of my favorite resources to kind of just browse combinations is palettes.me now uh, palettes.me is something that's really awesome there's new combinations up on here every day so I kind of just scroll through and it's a similar thing you kind of just click on the one that you like it'll bring you to a page with all the hex values for each color you kind of just grab these and do what you will with them another cool resource that it's kind of recent is the Google material design spec for color um, so if you're going along with material design you're trying to learn material design and you like these kind of flat bright pastel -y colors you can go through here and kind of scroll through and view them as well this is a great resource if you're you know trying to do a material design for android or mobile or something like that one that's popular and that's been around for a while is this this site called flat ui colors um, and it basically just has a very small palette of popular flat ui colors and you can just click on it and it will copy the color to your to your clipboard this is one of my favorites for a while so now i would like to just show you guys a quick tip for those of you who are already familiar with html and css something that i do with my color values once i have them once i've made a color palette something that i do with my color values to basically help me quickly access them within my css file so i'm going to head over to my editor and show you guys kind of what i do so at the top of a new css document I like to just comment out a section and put like palette at the top of the section and I like to just describe the colors in English or however I can describe them and then just paste the hex values next to them here and as well as the RGB values if I need like alpha for an overlay or something. So the reason why I do this and I put this at the top of my document is because if I'm working with just vanilla CSS and I don't have access to variables like if I was using SAS or less or something if I wanted to you know make a new CSS rule a paragraph and you know I want to use one of those colors from my palette instead of just you know having to switch panels or go back to Chrome or go back to the color wheel or something like that or copy a different color onto my clipboard I have all of the ones at the top of my document. So on Mac, I just do command up and then I'm already up here. So I can just quickly highlight and then do command Z, get back down to where I was, paste the color, oops, paste the color, and then I'm good to go. So that's a little neat trick that I like to do. I'm gonna be doing some other color videos on context of colors, picking colors to communicate a certain idea or feeling in some other videos, so stick around for those. If you like that video and you wanna stick around for the more advanced color videos to come, as well as some other awesome kind of tutorials just like this one, please subscribe to the channel, share this video and like it if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.